Hello there, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your pins in your Glock Gen 4. The tools you'll need for this is a punch, such as a, such as this one, a low impact hammer, a roll of tape, or anything really that will catch the old pins once they come out so you don't lose them. And of course, your new Deltac stainless steel pins. First off, of course, take the magazine out of the gun, put that aside, make sure there is no ammo in the chamber. After that, we will take the slide off the gun. I have a detailed video on how to do this and replace your slide lock as well. So be sure to check that out. But essentially, grab the gun like so, pull the slide back, pull the slide lock down on either side and push the slide off, just like that. We're gonna put that aside. Starting off with the pins, we'll put the gun over the tape again so that we don't lose the pin. Now you gotta make sure that the pin you are working on currently is in the middle of the roll so that when you push it out, it falls in the tape and doesn't get lost. So first we'll push out the locking block pin with our punch. These things roll away really easily. So that's this one right here. All you gotta do is just push it out with your punch. And it's out. And as you can see, the tape caught it and it's good. Okay, next up is the trigger pin. With this one, if you push in the pin, notice it doesn't budge. And that's because it's being held by this slide stop. So what you need to do here is wiggle the slide stop while pushing the pin. Came right out. Super easy. Now, the slide stop may come out, and that's fine. All you need to do is just put it back in, push this block down, and make sure that these holes are aligned for the new pins, which we will install very soon. Okay, after this, we are going to move to the trigger housing pin, this rear one. Exact same procedure as the first pin. You're just gonna push it through. It comes right out. Okay, so now that we have our old pins out, it is time to install the new pins. So to do that, we'll just go in the order that we started. First is the locking block pin. That's this dumbbell looking one. Has a thicker end on either side of it. And then it's a little bit thinner in the middle. You can see that. So that's gonna go right here. And if you need to, you can use your low impact hammer. Now it's in. And then I will just center it with this pin. So now it is even on either side. Okay, next up is the trigger pin. So that is the big boy. That's the biggest one. It has three sections, three thick sections and two little crevices. Make sure that your slide top is installed back correctly though before you do that before you put it in. Because here's what's happening in the gun. The hole in this slide stop is where one of this crevice will go. So we need to install the slide stop in that hole. So that they will line up correctly. Just kind of put it in. And that should be good. Just gotta look in there, see if there's anything blocking your hole. If there's not, put it in. And if it's not gonna go in, it means there's something blocking it. Just wiggle the slide stuff around a little bit. And there you go. Okay, so you see here that it's kind of stuck. So exact same thing as what we did when we removed it. We got to just wiggle this thing. It goes right in. And then once more, I will center it with my pin just to ensure that it is even on either side. 
it's good. Okay, last but not least is the trigger housing pin. Just like the first one, all you gotta do is push it in. If you need your low impact hammer, you can use it. If not, just your finger, push it in. Just like before, we'll center it with our punch. And there you go. If you have a beaver tail installed on your gun, such as this one, all Glock Gen 4s come with it, then you will need to use this longer pin. Exact same procedure, it's just the longer pin will compensate for the extra width that comes with this beaver tail. It will need a little bit of fitting to enter it in because this is made of plastic and so, so it's a little bit different, but the procedure again is exactly the same just a longer pin. Okay, thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out our other videos. The link for this product is down below. I'm just using the silver for this video because it's easiest to see. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.